What's going on, world? It's your man, Nino Breeze. Record shot. Persia Sam. Persia sitting in there. <laughs> and uh, what, what we're doing right here, we're, we're, we're sitting with um, a young lady who, who has a very good show that, that she's put together with, with a good squad of people. And uh, it's a very high quality show. Um, her name is Carla P. Morales, and the name of the show is Book of Nimrod. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Well, well, well. I'm, well. I'm glad to be sitting here with you. you all know? right, all right. Um, I got to look at a few episodes of Book of Nimrod. Okay. Um, very impressive show. Thank you. Very impressive. Um, from from your point of view, what was the whole thing that that brought about the Book of Nimrod? Well, uh, the Book of Nimrod actually is a spinoff of a larger series called The Saints. Okay. And I've been trying to get The Saints on the air since 1999. Yeah? Yeah, and no success. So Hurricane has been developing her skills with photography and videography, and she was really and getting And who's time. Hurricane? Oh, Hurricane is yes. my daughter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's also a, you know, a, a hip-hop artist, but she also has an eye. She mm -hmm. has an eye. And she showed me what she can do, and I was really impressed. And she said, come on, let's do something, let's do something. Yeah. And she said, why don't we do this Nimrod story? Because she and I have been talking about that. Yeah. I said, that's a really good idea. So I said, let's call it the Book of Nimrod. Mm -hmm. And so we started with little webisodes. Yeah. And each webisode was maybe three, four minutes a piece, but it really began to get some traction. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to take it to the next step and do full-blown episodes mm -hmm. so we have a bona fide drama yeah okay yeah and it is bona fide i got to give you that like, it's I, definitely I, drama I was, filled it's it's drama. Yeah. Nice couple I, twists, I so. all into yeah. it. great acting and everything how, how did you pick the, the cast um mostly on gut and past experience mm. like for instance you'll be speaking with uh, merle lynn brown i've worked with her a lot in mm. the past because i've also, also do stage plays mm. And she's been a part of one of uh, the stage play, two stage plays actually. Mm. One was Back to the Old Landmark, and the other one was El Bandido. Okay. And she was in both of those plays. So I have a long history mm. with Merle. So I knew what she was capable of, and I knew what she could bring to the role. Gotcha. So I definitely connected with her. But we had auditions. We had auditions, and some people came recommended, and sometimes I just get a gut feeling. Mm. I'm like. Like Naya, the little girl Naya that's, that plays Baby. Yeah. I saw her photograph on Facebook and something struck me. I said, I think that's Baby. Mm. I said, let me contact her parents and see if, yeah. how they would feel about this. Mm -hmm. And the rest is history. Yeah. Yeah. That's good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> so um, you you have full-fledged episodes shot, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're still shooting them. You're still shooting? Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, have you released any of them yet officially or...? Nope, not yet. So, so when can we expect to get that? <laughs> okay, well, we actually got um, some distribution with iFame TV. Mm -hmm. It's on a channel on Roku. Okay. Um, if you don't have a Roku box, uh, you can stream it on iFameTV.com. Okay. And we debut, finally, on Monday, July 20th. July 20th. Yeah. At 9 p.m. 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Yes. So let me, let me cut in real quick. So as she told y'all who ain't paying attention, I'm going to say it again. On iFame, if you don't have a Roku box, if, yes, you can stream it mm -hmm. on iFame.com. Is it? iFame TV. iFame TV. Dot com. Dot yes. com. And it's 9 o'clock, July 20th. I'll be watching it. All Make right. sure y'all watching it. You know? All right. So, um... As, as far as with, with the with the show, what 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 kind of topics are you dealing with on the show? Oh wow, we're doing everything. We're dealing with drug addiction, mm -hmm. uh, recovery. We're dealing with uh, childhood neglect. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with um, all kinds of issues revolving around that in an inner city neighborhood in mm -hmm. Philadelphia, particularly. Yeah. And we're dealing with uh, reasons and issues why young men in the community or young women in the community mm -hmm. choose to pick that kind of work, mm -hmm. you know. So we're dealing with how the church also works in the community, mm -hmm. you know, how, you know, the, the, the interplay back and forth between, between the church, the community, how it all revolves mm -hmm. around one another mm -hmm. and how, you know, how it makes, you know, the community work or not work. 
Gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. We need shows like that too. Yeah. I think a lot of people have too many uh, preconceived notions about stuff that they never yeah. been involved in, and they just see things on the news or read the newspaper right. and form an opinion. Right. So sometimes it's good when you have that type of a show that can draw people people in and yeah. give you a little more insight. How how does the writing go? Like, oh well. The writing is very solitary. That's something that I've had to do, at least for now, I've had to do by myself. Um, I live with those characters. I eat with them. I sleep with them, yeah, yeah. these characters. And I do all of that uh, story building and everything on my own, mm -hmm. but is based on either loosely or identical mm -hmm. on actual people, events, mm -hmm. things like that. Gotcha. So I don't write anything that I, I don't know, yeah. you know. It's all based around things I've, I've experienced or seen or yeah. heard. Yeah. And who yeah. is Nimrod then? Nimrod. Nimrod. Okay, I'm going to tell you. That's, honestly, I, when I first heard I was like, is this a Bible story or something? <laughs> now, it's interesting you should say that. It's a nice a lot twist of people, though, yeah. A lot of people, you know, don't under, don't know that the name Nimrod is connected to the Bible. Mm -hmm. So that's really good. Okay. But uh, Nimrod is actually based on uh, my brother-in-law. Because mm -hmm. back in the 80s, well, you'll also see once we, because uh, the Book of Nimrod has a life that's going to connect into an, another series. Okay. And there's also another uh, hustler in that series, a larger one, mm -hmm. also based on my brother-in-law. Okay. My brother-in-law was a kingpin mm -hmm. at one time. And I'm talking really, really big. Mm -hmm. He was really, really short and had a huge personality. <laughs> and when he came down the street, everybody says, I keep getting el presidente. Here comes the president. Yeah. You know, and he carried himself like the president. Mm -hmm. So, and I seen a lot of things mm -hmm. when he was doing that. I never approved of what he was doing and he knew mm -hmm. that I didn't approve. So he kind of kept it you know, out of my him. sight, mm -hmm. but he couldn't hide everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I got a chance to see quite a few things and I just, you know, incorporated into the story. Mm -hmm. yeah. So okay. that's, that's good. So we got real life experiences yeah. in the story, you know, so that's why I probably felt so real when I was watching it. Did you know? it really yeah, feel it felt like that? I, I have a short attention span. At time. Okay. I'm an artist, so I, you know, I be ping pinging. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. um, I, I was locked in though. Each one that I saw, I was really locked in to okay. see, oh, how does it, how is this going to end? Oh, oh wow. and, and you know that's another one of the challenges. I'm well. We'll see once we get it out there. It's you can really grab people if you have an episode that's maybe three minutes or four minutes. Mm -hmm. But when you've got an episode that's an hour mm -hmm. yeah. or half hour, mm -hmm. are we are we going to be able to hold them? Hold them yeah. So we're keeping the stories as gripping as we possibly can, as mm -hmm. compelling as we can, yeah. so that people will want to continue to sit for a full hour or a full half hour yeah. mm -hmm. to see the show. Yeah. yeah. That's dope. What what um, kind of challenges have you found thus far in, in trying to launch the show or, you know, in, in the filming process or any of those things? It's a lot of challenges. Yeah. A lot of challenges. It's not like we didn't have um, major, you know, studio or, or whatever interested. Mm -hmm. It's not, it wasn't that. But when you have major players interested, you got to wait in line. Mm -hmm. And that line could be two, three, four, five years long. Mm -hmm. And with technology the way it is, what are we waiting for? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So we just made a decision. We said, you know what? We have all this technology at our fingertips. Let's just go ahead and do it. Yeah. I mean, we'd be waiting forever. By, the, by that time, our little star, Naya, would be a grown Your woman. woman. Yeah, and you know. got to find another little exactly. Naya. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm like, no, let's do this thing right now. Yeah. So um, that that that's... That was one of our challenges. But another challenge has been when you're working with actors, particularly in Philadelphia, because Philadelphia is not a film town. Mm -hmm. It's trying to be, but it's not. Mm -hmm. And everybody works. Most people have families. Mm -hmm. And they have to do this. Even though acting is their first love, mm -hmm. they've got to bring home a living. Yeah. yeah. So kind of trying to schedule around their schedules and their families and you don't want to take them away from their families yeah. they've got birthdays yeah. and anniversaries and of course mm -hmm. sometimes I want to say don't worry about all that skip that yeah. come to shoot this scene yeah. can't do that yeah. family is all family is first mm -hmm. and I respect family that's one of our challenges and sometimes another challenge is just getting locations mm -hmm. just getting a location sometimes if we need to shoot in the house sometimes people are real 
funny about you coming into their home. Mm-hmm. They think the house needs to be a palace. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're definitely not looking for a palace. Yeah. Not for the Book of Nimrod. Nah, yes. Nah. <laughs> yeah. need that thing real We're real looking listed. for real. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we may have challenges with that. Mm-hmm. Um, but the main thing is scheduling. Gotcha. That's our main main monster. Gotcha. Scheduling. We definitely can, um, can definitely uh, relate to that. Oh, you I can. Know, okay, like, I can imagine. You know, it's like that with everything, you know, because un- until you have a major budget to where you can pay everybody, you know, and, you know, up front and have exactly. people sitting, you know, nicely where everything is, is situated, all the bills are already paid exactly. and, and all they can do is focus on their craft, you got to do that type of exactly. stuff. It's, it's a juggling act. It's constant juggling. Listen, artists, all type of artists, actors, Singers, rappers, whatever you do, it's the same thing. Dancers, all is we all in the same boat together. Yep. It's a grind, it's a hard hustle, but you got to do it. And like Carla said, you have to be able to utilize all the tools that you have. And so I definitely That's commend right. you on on putting it out there before you you got the you know the, the big budget to be able to right. do it. You know, right. you know that's you know so. Um, you said that the book of Nimrod is going to turn into something else yes. later. Yes. But I'm sure you probably can't tell us. Oh, I can tell it's you. It's to. no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spoil my story. You, it, so you got to be nice with it. Go ahead. <laughs> no, it's just, it's, it's real. We, you know, um, as I said, the book of Nimrod is a spinoff mm-hmm. of a larger series. And what yeah. was that about? The Saints. The Saints. Mm-hmm. The Saints is about a pastor mm-hmm. in a growing inner city Baptist church. And all the drama that goes on behind closed doors mm-hmm. and is surrounding African American and Latino communities. Mm-hmm. And the church is sitting right in between two major drug lords. Mm-hmm. One is named Orlando, mm-hmm. the other is Nimrod. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we focused on Nimrod's story since he has a really interesting story. And once Get closer to your heart. Exactly. Yeah. But also when we go into the Saints, mm-hmm. baby is like eighteen or nineteen years old. Oh. oh. And you will see who baby becomes gotcha. at that age. Mm-hmm. And then we're into the saints. Gotcha. So that's how it's going to go. But you got to keep watching and know what happens. It happens okay. exactly. Right. You know? <laughs> so, but listen, um, we're going to go to a commercial real quick. I know we're having a good time, but we got to, you know, pay some bills, do what we do. You know, and we'll be back with Miss Carla P. Morales, y'all. Wreck a shot. <laughs> Carla P. Morales, writer and director for the Book of Nimrod. Um, I know I may look a little tired right now, but we just got finished a full day uh, shooting. We started very early this morning, crack of dawn, and it's a major scene we had to shoot, a big shootout this scene. And it was a bit challenging. Sometimes it's hard to get everybody on the same page and to follow through, but everybody stepped up to the plate and uh, did what they were supposed to do. So, now it's the end of the day, we're, you know, cleaning up, as you can see, makeup is getting cleaned up and our camera people are winding down and packing up equipment and things like that. Um, but it's been a, a very interesting experience. We even had a moment today where some innocent bystanders thought it was a real shootout. So that was kind of funny. A little scary too. But um, this is what we do every single day. The Book of Nimrod. Please check us out on Facebook, on YouTube, uh, and on Instagram. And we're even on Twitter. So that's The Book of Nimrod. Give us a call if you have any questions. If you want to help us, 215-469-5373. We appreciate all your love and support.
is out to hurt you. I'm your only protection. Welcome back to the record shop, y'all. Once again, I'm Nino Breeze. And I'm Persia Sam. And yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna let her take this one right here. Actress and we're sitting, on actress. Yes, right. And we're sitting here with uh, Merle and Brown. Exactly. Okay. And she <laughs> plays Nana in uh, the Book of Nimrod. So, um, as Carla spoke about uh, you earlier, she pretty much handpicked you for this role, correct? Pretty much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so that that's excellent, um, especially since you have such a long history with her. Um, as far as uh, this role, um, what do you like about it? As far as um, do you think she handpicked you uh, and this role perfectly fit you, or did you find a challenge as far as uh, bringing the character to life? Or um, I think the storyline really brought the character to life because I interact with people that I wouldn't necessarily be interacting with. Okay. The, you know, Nimrod and I have a relationship, and I'm not going to say what that is. You have to tune in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, those challenges come in with how we interact with each other, and I'm protective of my granddaughter, so that's part of the story, too, trying to protect her and also trying to nurture my daughter that has substance abuse challenges. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been acting then? Um, uh, over 20 years. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite? Is it theater or film? Or? Theater. Theater? <laughs> okay. I love film though. Okay. <laughs> and, and why well, theater? Is it just the um, energy from the crowd? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's immediate feedback. Uh, I just love it. I love the challenge of learning the lines. This, you got so many takes, mm -hmm. it's easier to do. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I love theater, but I love all of the creative arts. Mm -hmm. okay. I think I, I, I um, for me, because I, I get lazy sometimes. <laughs> so I, I would rather do film so I can mess up. You know, it's too much pressure. Mm -hmm. if you can yeah that's lines, true all know? the lines but that means that mean that she on top of her craft that she prefers the theater I find that people who prefer the theater are on top of their craft like that there's a lot of divas though mm -hmm. not me <laughs> I, don't, I, don't get, I don't get the diva vibe <laughs> well not her but I'm just yeah. saying as far as theater is concerned it can be there's mm -hmm. some film divas too, y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And it's male and female divas too. Child, what you talking yeah, about? Yeah, you got divas and divos. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got both of them. But it's about the work yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. And passing yeah. the message along, um, telling stories, our stories, and making them live. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't live without art. Yeah, definitely. You cannot. Yeah. I mean, especially if you're a part of the arts too something no that, like, anybody oh, anybody they really? gotta have music they gotta have theater they gotta have dance yeah you're right. you, you can't, can't live dance, without right? it yeah. if you can walk you can, you can dance, dance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was told that by a great dance teacher oh, yes really? but the heartbeat is the rhythm mm -hmm. so we're always involved in some way mm -hmm. so it's crucial to our existence mm -hmm. that's my opinion that's very <laughs> profound too. I, yeah. I agree with that. I think art drives life. Yes. And, and it's yes. isn't it funny? Like you can hear a song from maybe 1988 or something, and it puts you right. You can remember exactly where you were mm -hmm. when you oh I was in the barber shop getting my hair That's cut. Right. I remember that. You know I remember the same feeling. Mm -hmm. You know or or you can sing uh you can sing a a, a song that you haven't heard in years, but you can sing it verbatim because right. it's just a part of who you are, you know? <laughs> so that, that's, that's true. It, it really it really is like that. With the Book of Nimrod, um, how do you think it's going to touch people? Like, what can people grab from that? Um, I think there's a, a lot of lessons. Mm -hmm. Being aware of what's going on in your community mm -hmm. and what you can do to either make it better mm -hmm. or to make yourself better. Mm -hmm. So I think that's part of what art does. It makes you think. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
it's kind of self-reflective. You mm-hmm. know? Exactly. You know? um, when I was watching it, because I didn't watch a whole bunch of episodes. I watched like five or six of the episodes. Did you see mine? You know, I don't, I don't think I saw yours, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I saw yet. yours. You got you know, to see got, Nana. I'm going to have to fast forward to, to, you know, I got to see Nana in it now. You know. <laughs> Um, well, we're definitely looking forward to the full episode. So, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a great piece. Carla is wonderful. Mm-hmm. She's been working at this for a long time. Mm-hmm. She has a story to tell, and I think people are just going to be overwhelmed mm-hmm. when they see it. Yeah. It's were you exciting. a part of it? Were you oh, a part sorry. of it? No, it's fine. I actually <laughs> jumped over you. But uh, were, were you a part of it of <laughs> the Saints as well? When she were yes. you a part of the first? Mm-hmm. I guess. Uh, Heart area, yeah, installment because yeah, <laughs> it's a whole nother installment yeah, after the book of Nimrod. So I think that's uh, yeah, I was excellent. a church lady, okay, pastor's aid society, uh-huh. and I was a busy body, so I was in everybody's business passing gossip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does that closely relate to you in real life? No, no. <laughs> of course not. She said, if it did, I'm not going right. to admit and it. Anyway. Right. You know, I'm not going to do that, we'll mess everything up, yeah, right. You know? So, um is there any any kind of surprises we can expect from Ooh. Nana on this on the, yeah. on the show? I go head to head with Nimrod. Oh, head to head, huh? Yeah, Chuck. And you probably it's don't my want grandbaby. To do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. my baby. Yeah, I got you. I got you. So you're not playing any games Mm-mm. with Nimrod when it come down to her. No, I got you. I got you. I got you. Well, um, as as far as other other movies and things like that that you've seen before. Is there any movies that you can put closely with the Book of Nimrod or any other TV shows that you can say, okay, it's, it's kind of like that mixed with this, or do you think it's just something totally in its own lane by itself? I think it's new. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not going to compare it to anything else. Mm-hmm. I think people have to watch it and see what they think. Mm-hmm. Listen, Miss Merle Lynn Brown told y'all you got to watch it. And see what you think. Okay, you know, she put up the you know, sign. Up the she said, watch it. That's right. Watch it. Check she it gonna out. Send, she gonna send them rides right. to the credit. Right. Yeah. You know, Nana not playing, yeah. right? Look, right. And if Nana going going head to head I'm with going them in. Rides, I, she going in. I ain't gotta say no more. Look, record shop TV, y'all. Merle Lynn Brown. She played Nana. You know, and make sure you watch it July twentieth at nine o'clock on iFan. Y'all. That's right. All right. Mm-hmm. Ms. Merlin Brown, record shop, y'all. We be back. Thank you. <laughs> I want you to tell Nana the truth. Come on now. Who be coming up in that house? I don't know him. Did anybody ever hurt you? Huh? Did any of those strangers ever touch you or anything? No, Nana. You sure? Yes. Now, you listen to me. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to try to get you to live with me. Me and Mommy? Uh, I'm just talking about you right now. We can't leave Mommy by herself. Calm down, calm down. We're going to make sure Mommy gets the help she needs. But right now, I have to think about you. Mom. Got $20 I can borrow. What you need $20 for? to buy some groceries. Groceries, teacher. Groceries. Thanks, Mom. Nana? 
You want to come home with Nana? Where's Mommy? You don't know where your Mommy is? Then you come home with Nana for a little while, okay? Back at y'all, Record Shop family, right now. Um, you see a beautiful young lady right here, um, Miss uh, Naya Jolie, Jolie. <laughs> plays the part of Baby. She made sure I had to say the show. You know, she made mm -hmm. sure I got the name right. So it's Naya Jolie, and uh, she plays the part of Baby in the um, in the show. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are I'm you? Doing well. I'm well. I'm well. I'm glad to be sitting next to you here. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, little star. Little, little future superstar <laughs> sitting next to me. Huh? Yeah. She a star now. You know, but she a superstar and, and as soon as this drops. You know what I mean? Thank um, you so much. What, what, oh. You played a part of 